Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube video thumbnail using Photobee. So the Photobee is like the free version of Photoshop available online as the web app directly in your web browser. Alright, so here I am inside of Photobee. I'm going to simply create a new document, so file new. You want to pick the size of the screens and then select full HD. Hit create and here's our new blank artboard. I recommend to drop like the screenshot, the frame of your video here. Or you can simply pick a picture from the built-in gallery, the copyright free pictures here. So I still recommend to just capture something from the video itself as the background for the thumbnail, but you can also search for something in the similar topic from the gallery like I'm doing it now and simply select the image. Do not do drag and drop like I just did. This way you will have very small image. Simply click on it and the image will appear in full size. All right, so that's the way. Now you can, I will just erase the little one first and here's the proper image. Let's resize that. So let's turn on transformation controls here. Now we can simply drag the corner to resize the image, hold the shift button to maintain the correct proportions. All right, here's our background image for the thumbnail. We can flip this horizontally if you need like this. Just right click on the image. Very important part, you need to confirm transformation. So click OK at the top. All confirm, we got new size here. Nice, now you probably want to add some text to it, right? So let's pick a text tool from the tool panel on the left and then click somewhere in the artboard and now we can start, start typing. Select the text, you can modify the size at the top. We got properties of the text, we can change the font there are several built-in fonts. You can also upload your own fonts here. No problem with that. Modify the main color of the font like this. All right, we got some top 10 video here. You can, of course, use the trick we used before. You can use the transform box around the object to simply drag the corner out to make it larger. All right, then probably some more text here maybe in different color this time. Let's add some special styles to our text. So at the bottom, we can see multiple layer styles. Let's select one. Here it is, layer style box. We can add several styles from here, like drop shadow. the inner and outer glows as well. So it's totally up to you what you're going to add, how you're going to style your text. Let's go with the gradient, but I would change the blending mode to overlay. So it's kind of the blending with the original color that I got before with the green color. All right, so we got like the soft gradient on it. We can do a little bit of inner glow to make the edge sharper, maybe white color. And again, I would change the blending mode to overlay. So we we'll pick the color from the original one. As you can see, we can make a nice stroke around to make the text bolder, cutting out from the background. And again, you can even modify the opacity and blending mode for the stroke itself. All right, if I put drop shadow now, as you can see, it's kind of below the stroke. So we got this area of the outline around the text and then drop shadow. All right, I apply several different styles to this text. Look more unique now. We can click OK. And now I can simply 
make it larger. There's a way that we can copy all of that to other text. Just simply copy the style, move to the next layer and then paste the style. And here it is, you don't need to do it from the scratch. You can just copy and paste the styles on the layer panel like I just did. You can also clear the style and this is the generic one. For this one I'm going to create a shape, rectangle shape. It's red but we can change the color. So let's drag it down below the, the text. Here it is. Dark color, overlay. Or maybe it's too soft, maybe something darker. Change the blending mode. You can experiment with different blending modes. That's the best way to learn about them more. Alright, let's make it larger. Alright, it's look more and more like a thumbnail for YouTube video. What else can we do in this free software? Let's experiment a little bit. Alright, here's new blank layer, nothing on it. I pick the brush tool now. I will select big and very soft brush, 0% hardness. I want to change the color to be white. And I will kind of like make like lights and shadow to make this scene more dynamic. Alright, so I'm clicking here and there with white color. Then I'm switching to black color. And again, click here and there. So I create like light and dark spots. Now I can change the blending mode of this layer to overlay and I got like dynamic lightning. Just some experimentation. All right, you can do something like this if you want to highlight part of the thumbnail. Simply using white and black colors and then overlay this layer. What else can we do? We can use alignment panel to oversaturate this. It's kind of, it was a kind of like trendy thing some time ago to oversaturate the layer. So the colors are really juicy. I add extra saturation using this alignment panel at the top. So it's affecting all layers below. All right, everything is nicely on the layers so we can modify it later on if we need. You can save your project as PSD, reopen that later and use this template for other videos as well. But for now, let's export this to JPEG. So I will be able to upload this on YouTube. So file export JPEG quality 100% or maybe 90% and then save. Now the web browser will download your image and you can use that on YouTube as a thumbnail. Thanks for watching. See you in my next tutorial.